That is the gun that took 64-year-old Timothy Jones' life. LaShawn Craig is the man who pulled the trigger. I still feel terrible about the situation. Craig is an MTA train operator and 16-year veteran. He tells PIX11 News he was afraid for his life after his tenant, Jones, who was also a relative, broke into his apartment. Jones had an extensive criminal record. A year before, he survived being shot at the same home owned by Craig. Sources tell us it was a drug deal gone bad. Fast forward to last month, Craig says he had just arrived home from work when Jones started yelling at him about old photos. Craig went inside, retrieved a handgun, and turned on his alarm. Shortly after, the alarm went off, and Craig went to see what was going on. I didn't know what his intention were, but, you know, a mask and gloves. Craig says he asked Jones to leave, but that's when Jones allegedly reached into his pocket, and Craig shot him. I absolutely fear for my life. I wasn't quite sure what they were coming out of their pocket with. Police say Jones had a taser in his pocket. The gun Craig used is an illegal handgun. Given your background, Correct. why didn't you go get a license for a gun? Um, I should have. Um, I will say that I should have. Um, but I, you know, I used to hear about a lot of the procedures and how difficult it was for people. After the shooting, Craig says he called 911 and immediately dismantled the gun. Murder charges against Craig were dropped, but he still faces gun charges, something he understands, but. I'm, I'm a little shocked um, at the charges. At the same time, I have to be realistic. This is New York City, you know, and I'm not gonna try and be high and mighty. Wrong is wrong. Craig believes lawmakers should streamline the gun application process for homeowners, business owners, or retired military. For example, once you apply for a home loan, your gun application can be in the works as well. By the time you do get the keys to your home, if not on that day, shortly thereafter, you should be going for your registration. In the end, what happened is something Craig will never forget. He says he lost support from his job, his union, friends, and family, but he did gain some things including the desire to help others who may find themselves in a similar situation. When there becomes another LaShawn or another business owner or another homeowner, then what? Then I would like to be an advocate for them. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.